Hi there, my name is Monique De Beer. Not only am I a registered physiotherapist, but I'm also a mother. It's winter at the moment and up here in Joburg the air is really, really dry and this time of the year I do see a lot of people who battle with sinus congestion and runny noses, blocked noses and uh, in some people if they don't manage to clear that up it, it does move into the chest and, and possibly cause a chest infection. So I'm quite busy with that at the moment. But this time it hit home and my daughter two weeks ago started battling with some severe sinus congestions. She battled to breathe, battled to sleep. There was some coughing, a bit of a phlegm um, on her chest. So I had to practice what I preach. I did an article and it's on my website. You can go have a look on uh, treating sinus congestion at home without antibiotics. So I mixed up the sinus rinse and the recipe for that is in the article. I taught her how to do the sinus rinse. We did some steaming. I did a bit of tapping uh, around her sinuses to help clear the congestion, get some circulation going there. And I just continued with her normal supplements that I, I give her, um, some of which was prescribed by my homeopath for the winter time in terms of just boosting them a little bit. I'm very happy to say that within a week we managed to clear up the, the sinus congestion. Um, I did some chest physiotherapy for her as well, some chest percussions, and I did a video on that recently on how to do chest percussions at home if you feel that's something you want to incorporate into your home treatment. So it's nice to be able to report that the advice I give, I do try myself and that on this occasion it worked really, really well. Please feel free to go and have a look at the article and the, the video. Thank you for going to have a look. And also if you want to post a comment or ask questions, you're more than welcome and I'll be happy to help and answer as far as I can. Remember, if something like that does continue for longer than a few days, or if your symptoms actually start getting worse, please consult a physiotherapist or go and see your doctor because there may be a secondary infection that unfortunately will need uh, some, some antibiotics or some, some greater intervention. Thanks so much and we'll chat soon. Keep well.